Hello everyone, my name is Christina. Welcome to my July bullet journal setup in my new Archer and Olive A5 notebook. In the last week, I've posted the flip through of my first 2022 bullet journal and the setup for my new bullet journal. So if you haven't had a chance, watch those. I'll leave that in the cards and description down below. I've already gone in with the pencil and sketched out what I'm going to draw and then I'm taking my red Crayola fine tip and writing in July. This month's bullet journal theme is an American drive-in movie theater. I remember going to the drive-in with my dad's side of the family when I was a kid. And I feel like my dad loves doing this because he did this as a kid. So it's very nostalgic for him to share this experience with us. Drive-in movie theaters are great for families, especially with little kids, because sometimes it's hard for them to sit still during a movie. You know, they get a little antsy, they start getting up and walking around. So there's more space you can sit inside the car or bring lawn chairs and picnic blankets to sit outside the vehicle. Now, drive-in theaters were here before my dad's time. It was introduced in the 1930s, but really rose in popularity in the 1950s and 60s. And sadly, there's been a decline since. So, I don't know, you might have a drive-in in your area, you might not, but if you do, it's the perfect activity to add to a summer bucket list. The following two pages are for my monthly overview. For this setup, I stuck to primary colors instead of vintage looking reds and yellows. I wanted to do something different than what I usually gravitate to. I'm using a mix of Tombow dual brush pens, Crayola fine tips, and Sakura micron pens. I typically draw a simple box, you know, maybe sometimes with rounded corners for the calendar, but I felt inspired this month. I thought it would be super fun to have the main box for the calendar be the shape of a movie ticket.
On the right side of the page, I have a couple more doodles, a film reel, and then a text box in the shape of film to list events and my YouTube schedule. I even took the lightest gray marker that I own and I, I kind of drew like a drop shadow on the right side of the items so it wouldn't look so flat. I know it, I mean, I don't know if it actually made a difference, but it's supposed to look more three dimensional. So <laughs> hopefully I achieved that. Next is space for my habit trackers and a brain dump for any extra space I'll need for ideas or note taking. I actually had a hard time thinking of what habits I wanted to track this month. I think I left three blank. Um, I did elaborate on my workouts. I kind of like broke it down um, because for the last couple of months, I feel like my workouts have looked a little different. Like with being pregnant, I feel uncomfortable when I'm working out, when I'm lifting heavy weights and cycling, you know, just all the usual things I would do for my morning workouts. Um, cycling feels weird because when my legs are alternating up and down, it puts a lot of pressure on my belly. Um, and then I thought, oh, okay, I could jog or run to, you know, kind of keep my endurance where it was. But that also feels so uncomfortable. Like my stomach gets hard, like my belly area. I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but it does. It just seems like all of a sudden it feels really tight. So I concluded that I could not work out like I used to. And I don't know how some women do it. I know one of my sister-in-laws was doing her usual workups up until she gave birth. And then a friend of a friend who was nine months pregnant and was still going on runs. So everyone's different. I think it's prevalent for women to feel the discomfort I feel when working out because I've asked them like, hey, did you work out while you were pregnant? And most of them said no. <laughs> so instead of putting a lot of pressure to work out hard, like I usually do, I modified with daily walks from one to two miles, three times a week. So I'm gonna be tracking that in my habit tracker, plus prenatal yoga floor sessions three times a week um, on the Peloton app. Um, I feel like this workout regimen is a lot more manageable. Right now I'm finishing up the weekly overview. This was fun to make because I usually don't go all out on this portion of the setup. Like I said earlier, I typically have a simple seven box form for the weekly overview, but this time I wanted to be a little more creative with the design, you know, incorporating symbols and items that fall under the movie theater theme. So I have a couple of boxes in the shape of movie tickets, film and a bucket of popcorn and I think the popcorn is a perfect addition to this weekly setup because it adds a bit of color otherwise this weekly overview will look very black and white and I didn't color the popcorn completely if anything popcorn without butter is white so I just added like just a little speck here and there I didn't fill it in all of the way just so that the yellow represents the butter <laughs> That is it for my July plan with me. I recreated a retro drive-in movie theater experience with this month's bullet journal spread. It was a lot of fun using a different color palette. 
Plus, doodling made this one a creative and cohesive theme. Later this week, I'll be coming out with my sister's new bullet journal setup video, plus her July plan with me. So if you liked this video and wanted to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all later this week. Bye.